Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking empties, trash, would I repurchase it? And there's a lot. There is absolutely a lot. And I know what you're thinking. Rada, you just had a video go up a week and a half ago. That was pre-filmed. So here we are, a little bit later, and um, I have a lot of stuff. So if this sounds like a video for you, hit that like button. If it's not a video for you, please give me like 10 minutes. I could really use your watch time. Feel free to smash that thumbs down button, whatever it may be. And um, let's just go ahead and, and get right into it. I'm gonna let you know whether or not I would repurchase it. Do I like it? Was it worth it? Let's do that. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. I hope you guys decide to become part of the Hot Mess Express family where we are a judgment-free zone, where your girl tends to ramble, she goes off in 50 different directions, makes a left-hand turn, comes back, and then takes a right-hand turn and just continues to ramble. I'm gonna upload this video on a weekend because of how long it's probably gonna be. So, about some time last year, I told myself, no more, sis, you're not gonna buy and not use up. You have to use up what you have. So I have been putting myself to the test. I can't do project pans, those freak me out, but I can definitely use up things that I purchased that I did like. Now the only catch to that is if I did not like it, I will not make myself do that. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. That's just, why would you do that? So anywho, let's go ahead <laughs> and talk about it. So if you guys don't know, I do lead a ketogenic lifestyle. I am pre-diabetic and I have some health issues. So keto is, clean keto is for your girl. I love collagen. It's just, it, it's great. I love it. Especially the vanilla flavored chocolate is also another favorite favorite flavor of mine. This is a perfect keto keto collagen. It's amazing. It tastes great. I am not sponsored by the way at all for this video. Just wanted to tell you guys about my trash. I always repurchase this. If you go into my pantry right now, you will see salted caramel and I think there may be another vanilla. I can't remember, but it's in my pantry. So I'm so behind. I should have done this yesterday, but I have been, my depression has been crap lately, guys. And uh, I couldn't film yesterday because I was so in a rut, um, but I am busting it out today. So uh, I always have a candle by Victoria burning in the background because I'm such a professional beauty guru, whatever. I just love her candles. They're amazing. Jen Loves Reviews talked about them over a year ago and if you want to know what my house smells like oh my pumpkin pecan waffles that's what my entire home smells like because it's delicious now that i do have an affiliate link listed down below for you guys i keep that in my description box at all times because it's amazing so i buy a lot of her candles which i do believe somewhere in my trash i have one of her candles um, but i also buy her melts and her melts is pumpkin pecan waffle scent it's amazing. I have melt warmers throughout my house. I know some people do um, oils, essential oils and stuff, which are supposed to be better for you, but Sis is living on the edge, I guess, because I'm about the candles and the melts. I love them. They smell delicious. I like my home to smell like I just, it's a bakery. The, I, I know, it makes no sense, but I do, and that's what my home smells like. Oh, here we go. Here's the candles I always, now here's the trick with these candles. You have, you can see I got lazy and I didn't trim the wick. If you trim the wick each and every single time that you burn it, you don't have tunneling. I get lazy. I did really good and then I got lazy. Anywho, but like I said, this one's called Oh My Pumpkin, pumpkin Pecan Waffle. Okay, so this has got a stupid amount of dry shampoo. Only three, but right? Okay, it's not a stupid amount. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this one. Psst. No, I really think that that's what it's called. Do you guys see this? I picked this up at Nordstrom Ryak a while back, and okay, that's where I make an exception. It's fine. That's it, it's fine. Batiste. I do like this. However, I have to be careful with the Batiste. I can't use it as silly as it sounds too often because it does irritate my scalp and really dry it out. I'm not for sure why because I can use the Chlorine dry shampoo all day, every day, every single day for seven days. Let's not talk about it, but yeah, I can and it works and it's amazing. And 
I only buy it when it's on sale because it's, 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 la la la, it's expensive. By the way, I'm going to try and be a really good person, creator, whatever you want to call it, and link everything below for you guys. Those will be affiliate links, just so you know. It's magic link, so if you do purchase through my links, thank you. You're going to earn my family a little bit of a commission. We appreciate that right now. Well, we appreciate it all the time. Okay, let's move and get rid of this bag. Oh my God. Do you guys know that I am a homebody? I am a extreme homebody and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, like, that's just how I am. I, I, I love to be at home. I love to piddle around my house. And so when I can, you know, get things like Instacart and have them deliver my groceries to me, I'm gonna do that. And it's great. I highly recommend it and I always keep a link down below. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyways, Amazon Prime, love that too. I mean, pretty much I know the Amazon Prime peeps by name because they're at my house darn near every single day. I'm just joking. Am I? I don't know. I do not even have caffeine, guys. I am on like a natural happy feeling right now. It's been a lot, but literally, I, I've, I've said it in multiple videos. Sitting down and filming for you guys literally lets me leave reality and I come into like my happy place and it's really nice. I love it. Anyways, back to these two bags I keep holding in my arms now tire. This is Epsom salt. Oh my goodness. You guys, I have a lot of stomach issues. I have SIBO, small intestinal bacteria, overgrowth of pure hell. I'm not even going to lie. It's horrible. I take a lot of detox baths. You can do it and you should do it even if you are not suffering with SIBO or just autoimmune diseases or anything. Just do it. It's just really good for you. So I buy, it is a three eight pound, I think it's eight, eight pounds a piece. Yeah. Uh, and they come to your house. You get three of them for like under 20 bucks. I love that for us. So I will link the Amazon stuff below for you guys as well. Are you guys ready to be shook? You guys know sis was salty. Like, oh, when they changed the scenting formula with the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana, I was a little whiny sissy Sally, whatever you want to say. I'm like, Ronnie, keep it PG. No, keep it G. Okay, so this is the Plush Moisture Body Blend. Is this the older one? No. Okay, this is the new scent. When I first got this set, I was so livid. I was mad. I was like, Sol de Janeiro ruined my life. It's over. Then I got used to it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I like it. It's nice. It has a cleaner, a cleaner. What is that? A clean, <laughs> a cleaner. Coco Coconutty Sunscreeny. I don't know. Ignore me. I have sinus issues the majority of the time. Anyways, I'm over being a little Miss Sassy Pants over it, and I actually do like it. it. It does smell good. Now, you put that popcorn cocoa scent back in front of me, and I'll be like, nope, you out, you out. But I, I will say, yeah, I, there's just something about this. I love, I love, my favorite shower gel to use is the Jason's shower gel because it doesn't like leave a film on your skin. And even though I use like the Bath and Body Works and then like Caress or what have you, it leaves like this film. If you use the Jason, Jason shower gel with this, this just sinks beautifully into your skin. And I will say, I do feel like this is a bit more hydrating than the original formula. So. We're friends again, so de Janeiro. If you wanna send me stuff, yay! Speaking of shower gel, we have the Central Amber Bath and Body Works shower gel used up. This is one of the dealios I do not repurchase unless it's on a crazy good deal sale plus a coupon type of thing. Like I wanna buy these for two bucks, three dollars. That's it, I, no more, maybe 325, no, no, three dollars. Okay, another Bath and Body. This is my Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte of Heavenly Goodness. It smells nice. I left a little bit because I, I opened another Coco Cabana. <laughs> 
Uh, this smells good. This is nice going into the fall. However, I will say the problem I have with the Bath and Body Work lotions is it leaves like this film on me. And I don't know. I mean, maybe it's something in the ingredients. If there's like, maybe there's some sort of um, mineral oil or dimethicone in there. But when that happens, I, I don't, I swear I can feel it. And it's the worst if you try and do a sunless tanner over top of a Bath and Body Works lotion because it does not apply evenly. Or if it appears to apply evenly, it doesn't wear off evenly. You know what I'm saying? Okay, shampoo. I think I've got the conditioner in here somewhere. Do I? I don't know what I did with it. Uh, this is a Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Matcha Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo. I love this stuff. I think it's great. You guys know I rotate my shampoo and conditioner all the time, so my my hair never knows what it's gonna get. You're gonna wash me today, you're gonna dry shampoo me today, you're gonna matcha me, you're gonna banana me. What are you gonna do? Oil plugs? I just keep it guessing. But I do like this and I do have backup of this because I, I, I love it. Oh. So I've got the Brazilian Crush by Sol de Janeiro. This is the Boom Boom Cream scent. This smells delicious and for a while I was like mixing these two because I'm extra thin and ridiculous. This is the original Coco Cabana popcorn scent of heavenly goodness and amazingness that they never should have changed but I used it up. I have one bottle left that I baby because I know no more. Okay, so I've got a Bath & Body Works Almond Vanilla Body Lotion. Again, um, there's some left in there, but I was kind of just over it. Uh, it smells nice. My husband liked the scent of it, but again, I don't buy Bath & Body Works ever unless there's like an insane sale. Bumble & Bumble BB Hairdresser Invisible Oil Primer. Swear by this stuff. I uh, don't wash my hair every day. It's probably like every third day I wash my hair. And I do hair dry it a little bit, but I always use a primer. Oil Aplex, you guys know I love it. The number three repairs and strengthens your hair. If you have color treated hair, lifesaver. I mean, this isn't, this isn't gonna like make your hair you know, like it wasn't colored, but it's going to do amazing things to your uh, head. Curology, you guys know that they send me every so often their retinol. It's not just retinol. There's, like, I think, like niacinamides or something in my prescription. And then with the prescription, you always get a little moisturizer and a cleanser, which the cleanser is in here somewhere. Here it is. So you get a set and then you've got your little prescription thing, which... I don't know where my prescription doohickey is, but anyways, I personally, I love it. I'm not sponsored. I don't even have an affiliate code with Curology. Like I said, they just send it to me, surprising every so often. I'm like, oh, yay, you know, so definitely like that. You guys know I've talked about this for years. This is a Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliation. I love this. I swear by this. This is a physical exfoliant. It's not going to be for everybody, but I use it a couple times a week and I really enjoy it. Okay, moving right along. I'm so excited. Okay, here's another one, a Bath & Body Work lotion. Uh, again, wouldn't buy it unless there's like an insane sale. This is by far, this is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin. 100%, 100% stand behind this. This is amazing. I keep this on backup, guys. I definitely purchase this. The things that I recommend to you guys, I'll leave linked down below. I'm not gonna link everything because like I said, I'm not gonna tell you guys to buy that Bath & Body Works stuff because to me, there's other things out there and unless I'm getting a heck of a deal, I don't buy it. Sierra Vive, or however you say it, it's amazing, it is great and Yes, the best deodorant known to man. You guys know that I did a whole video where I tested out so many natural deodorants. I have been using natural deodorants for probably four years now. Like before it was even a fad, I was using natural deodorant because they kept finding lumps in my chest and maybe it's been six years. Maybe it's been more like six years. They were finding lumps in my chest and I was scared it was the deodorant call, like causing it or something that I was gonna get breast cancer from it. And so I did. I went on a complete natural, whatever natural I could find, I bought. And anyways, long story short, the Lumi deodorant is the bomb. It is amazing, highly recommended. It's like $13.99, but you guys, 
it says it lasts up to 72 hours. It's good stuff. Very good stuff. It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In treatment. I don't care which treatment you get. It's amazing. Alta had it for 21 Days of Beauty. I stocked up on it. I love this stuff. It is, whew. Clinique, take the day off bomb. This is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite. I have backups of this. I can't get enough of it. I highly recommend it. Does not irritate my skin, break out my skin. Doesn't irritate my eyes like some of these balms do. I love this my one. My Keto Mojo, like I said, I am on the ketogenic lifestyle journey and I test my ketones and my glucose. So this is one of them. The other one's sitting over there, empty little things. You guys, these little um, test strips are only like a dollar uh, and you get a ton of them. It's amazing, and I do have a 15% off coupon code. That's an affiliate. My battery's about to die. I'm trying to hurry along. Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I have a bunch of these. I went through. The stuff's really good. It's really good. I'll tell you, though. I do really like the Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. I feel like this is a really good comparable dupe to the Charlotte Magic Cream. I'm just saying, and it's a lot cheaper. And I do believe they gave me a 20% off coupon. I don't think it's an affiliate, but anyways, two more products. This is the Mika Hydrate Conditioner. I like it. I don't think it's bad. I think it's better to get a deal at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. You kind of living on the edge, don't know how old it is. Um, and then last but not least, my SkinCeuticals Fission Fusion Physical Fusion UV Defense Sunscreen. This is the only sunscreen I wear. It does not break me out. It's amazing, guys. It's got a little bit of a tint to it. I mix it with my Drunk Elephant De Bronzy, and I absolutely love it. Boom! Under 20 minutes, y'all. Okay, my battery's about to die. I need to jump off and go get my monkeys from school. Anyways, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you decide to hit that like button or that thumbs down, whatever. Thank you guys for sticking around. It means the absolute world to me. I hope you decide to join our uh, family. Subscribe before you leave. And follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. Check my description box down below. I'm being bossy. Sassy pants are engaged. Okay, guys, until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Made it without it dying. Yeah.